welcome to the Midwest Athletic Conference Conference Championships. I'm Jennifer Beck alongside Josiah Stober, and this broadcast is brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Today's title sponsor, Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud sponsor of Mercer County Athletics. Josiah, they had the prelims on Tuesday of this week. It is now Friday, so we have finals in this event, and we're starting with the 100 hurdles in the girls. Let's take a look at who we have in the lineup. In lane one, it's Ashley Hicks of Coldwater. Lane two, Cassandra Baumholt of Versailles. Lane three, Sophia Whirling of Minster. Lane four, Grace Moeller of Marion Local. Lane five, Molly Brame of Minster. Lane six, Josephine Podhast of Versailles. Lane seven, Naomi Knapke of Parkway. And lane eight, Madeline Lang of Coldwater. And it's been Grace Moeller from the beginning is going to win and finish in first, followed it's like by Minster, Molly Brame. So Grace Muller doing a great job getting out early and will win the girls 100 meter hurdles. She is a sophomore and she repeats as the champion from last year. Event number four, it's the boys, 110 meter hurdles. These are the finals and here who is racing in this heat. In lane one, Owen Hamburg of Coldwater. Lane two, Gideon Beasley of Versailles. Lane three, Max Kanapke of Minster. Lane four, Aiden Rose of Coldwater. Lane five, Jay Schroeder of New Knoxville. Lane six, Bo Dwenger of Minster. Lane seven, Landon Arling of Marion Local. And lane eight, Carson Herod of St. Henry. Yeah, and Aiden Rose and Jay Schrader both come in with very similar seed times as we look like Jay Schrader is battling Aiden Rose to the finish, goes to the last hurdle, and it looks like it will be Aiden Rose with the championship in the boys' 110 meter hurdles. This is event number five, the girls' 100 meter dash. In lane one, Lydia Bruns of Versailles. Lane two, Grace Moeller of Marion Local. Lane three, Mara Pearson of Fort Recovery. Lane four, Izzy Zahn of Coldwater, who finished second last year. In lane five, Anna Ressner of Fort Recovery, who finished sixth last year. Your reigning champion from St. John's, Delphi St. John's, in lane six, Alice Kesson. Lane seven, Delphi St. John's, Ava Hershey. And lane eight, Anna Larger of Minster. And it is Alex Kesson getting off to a great start, battling Anna Rusner from Fort Recovery. And from our view, we're not sure who won, but it was a close one between Alex Kesson and Anna Rosner. So if we can get those results later, but great race by both those athletes. Absolutely. Moving on to event number six, the boys 100 meter dash. In lane one, Cole Kaiser of St. Henry. Lane two, Carter Glassford of Coldwater. Lane three, Tyler Barga of Versailles. Lane four, Justin Knopf of Marion Local. Lane five, Connor Gibson, Versailles. Lane six, Ethan Elander of Coldwater. Lane seven, Carter Jones of Marion Local. And lane eight, Ryan Worley of St. Henry. And really a good start by all of them. And it looks like Justin Knopf from Marion Local is out early. Oh, he yeah. has some pressure from Connor Gibson for sales, but it looks like Justin Knopf will win the boys' 100-meter dash for Marion Local. Welcome back. It's time now for event seven. The girls' 4 by 200 meter relay is waiting to begin, and you are watching the Mack Track Championships. Our title sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Josiah, we have about uh, nine or ten events so far, maybe nine, and where are we right now with our standings, our top three? Yeah, as we look at our boys standing in third place, it's Coldwater with 46 points. Uh, in second, it's Minster with 50.5. And our winning so far for the boys is Marion Local with a score of 58.5. And as we look at the girls' results, uh, in third place currently is Minster with 46.5 points. Marion Local is in second with 48 points. And Versailles currently with 69 points. So a good lead to start for the Versailles team in the girls' division. So our weather has been shifting a little bit from sunny to overcast. Slight wind right now. Um, we've already seen one record fall, and um, that was in the Girls 100, 100 meter, meter dash. dash. Yes, and that was Alex Kesson from St. John's. Uh, ran a 12.196 in the girls' 100-meter dash. So congratulations to her. Uh, the previous record was a 12.5, and that was split between five um, athletes. So congratulations to Alex Kesson. Repeating as the 100-meter dash champion last year and this year, 
Of course, she is a senior this year and looking forward to hopefully watching her all the way to the state meet. I'm sure that is also her plan as well. In the girls' 4x200 meter relay, here is who we have in these lanes. In lane one, it's Parkway. Lane two, New Bremen. Lane three, Versailles. Lane four, St. Henry. Lane five, Coldwater. Lane six is Minster. Lane seven, Marion Local. And lane eight is Delphus St. John's. And as we look at the best seed times coming in, in lane four is St. Henry with a one minute 47, 47 second seed time. Besides them is Coldwater in lane five with a time of one minute 47 seconds, 0.93. So could be a real battle there in lanes four and five. And then Versailles in lane three comes in with a time of one minute 51 seconds. As these leadoff runners take off, of course, they are in a stagger right now, but taking a look out there in lane six, Minster's Carrie Heckman looks like she has a good uh, takeoff there. Let's watch the handoffs. Yeah, and it does look like St. Henry in lane four was the first team to get the handoff. Of course, that is, that was Morgan Bomber handing off to Carly Busher, who will next hand off to Sam Lauber, and the anchor will be Riley Bomber. So we got some sisters there. Yep. So lane four is what we were looking at before. Watch those handoffs, because that's how we know. What'd you see there? That is St. Henry once again with a really good handoff as the runner is extending that lead now as they are on the inside. It looks like lane five, Coldwater is battling them on the outside, but they look like they have a pretty commanding lead so far. And they'll all come down to this last handoff. Here's the anchors that we have for all of the teams. Naomi Kanapke in one for Parkway. June Wilson, New Bremen in two. Cassandra Baumhold for Versailles in three. Riley Baumer for St. Henry in four. Kirsten Keller for Coldwater in five. Anna Larger of Minster, Larger, I'm rather, of Minster in four, or in six. Bailey Evers of Marin Local in seven. And Avery Pullman of St. John's in eight. And here we go, St. Henry down. The last stretcher, they will win the championship of the girls' 4 by 200 meter relay, and it's a battle for second and third. And it does look like Versailles may have came up on top in front of Coldwater, but we'll see once the results come in. Event number eight, the boys four by 200 meter relay. In lane one, Delphi St. John's. Lane two, Fort Recovery. Lane three, Minster. Lane four, Marion Local. Lane five, St. Henry. Lane six, Coldwater. Lane seven, New Bremen. And in lane eight, it's Parkway. I just like, I thought they had them set to go and then seemed to hold it for just a moment. There we go, now they're ready. Coming into this race with the best seed time is Marion Local with a time of 1 minute 31 seconds. And you can already see the Marion Local runner blazing his way around his half of the track, just about to make up that first stagger. And they do have a good handoff there. As you look at that athlete coming around the curve, almost looks like he's caught up with lane eight and seven which is quite the accomplishment. Absolutely. Looked like St. Henry was the second handoff, but we're gonna have to watch this third handoff to see where things are. Marion Local still very clear. Oh, that runner almost ran right into the third runner. Yeah, as we see Marion Local with that commanding lead, already about 20 meters, finishing that first 100 of the 200 meter run. Take a look at the St. Henry runner who is, has moved his team into that second spot with quite a little bit of distance over the third place runner. Yeah, Marion Local had a little bit of trouble there, but were able to get it before running out of the zone. But as of now, it looks like Marion Local with this commanding lead, finishing up the last 50 meters, will be followed by St. Henry, and then also followed by Coldwater, 
in lane six. So congratulations, Marion Local, winning the boys' 4 by 200 meter relay. The MAC Track Championships. Title sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone. Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Time now for event six, nine, the girls' 1600 meter run. In lane one, Mia Hirschfeld of New Bremen, Taylor Muhlenkamp of Parkway, Allison Pape of New Bremen, and Madeline Hain of Delphi St. John's. In lane two, Margaret Hemelgarn of Minster, Corinne Gerbeau of Versailles, Paige Williamson of Parkway, and Claire Moeller of St. Henry. In lane three, Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery, Meredith Barga of Versailles, Allie Heath of St. Henry, and Kendall Niekamp of Marion Local. And in four, Cheney Cedarleaf of Minster, Ellie Will of Fort Recovery, Katie Donaldson, of Delphi St. John's and Kendall Wells of Marion Local. And as we look so far, you know, it looks like they're deciding to be in a bunch there with the two Minster runners out in front. That's right, so that would be Margaret Helmogarn and Cheney Cedarleaf would be those two runners that would be leading the pack. And you're right, Josiah, they did kind of decided to just kind of have group running for a little while. And as they continue, we'll see them start to spread out a little bit. But right now, it's the three runners with the best seed times coming in. As you mentioned, Margaret Hemmelgarn, Cheney Cedarleaf, and Natalie Brunswick from Fort Recovery in the purple right behind. But it's really a crowd so far for that first lap. Have about seven runners all together coming across the finish line there for that first lap. So we'll see if they continue to just set the pace and then decide to, you know, put it on the last two laps or, you know, really just depends on, on the type of runners they are. That's right. Only four laps here. So these ladies really only have a short period of time to get that pace going and race the way they want. And now we are seeing a little bit of a break. We've got the Fort Recovery runner who has taken the lead over those two Minster runners. You know, we talked before how we're basically in the heartland of distance running such depth in distance running down here and especially in the MAC. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, a name that was mentioned, you know, just prior to this race starting with Sonny Olding holding the record here in this meet with a time of four minutes, 54 seconds for running the 1600 meter run. And that's a name that's been around for a long time. Um, you know, just the excellence of, of running, especially in this MAC conference. Hey, these ladies are here almost halfway through their race, and your leader remains Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery. Currently in second place is Margaret Hemelgarn of Minster, and Cheney Cedarleaf, also of Minster, is in third. We've got New Bremen in fourth. Well, and how important these two runners, especially for Minster, if you can get two athletes to score and to go towards that, point total for your team you know this could be huge depending how these three athletes finish you know but getting 10 to 8 getting 18 you know or 16 or whatever those points come out to be are huge as it goes towards those team totals absolutely straight away back there now we're seeing a move and i believe that's cheney cedarleaf um, who is making that move but right next to her is the teammate so the two minster ladies who may have had a plan in all of this. You just never know. Obviously, they trained together, and they both made that move at the same time. Well, now we see a little bit of separation between the, from those front three, you know, and, and runners four, five, six, and seven have really spread out here, you know, as they come up against some runners that they will lap here, you know, but you see they're really starting to pick up the pace. Yeah, you're right, Josiah. We are seeing that those two ladies continue to run side by side next to each other. And now we're going to see what's going to happen here in this final lap. Margaret Hemelgarn is the senior coming in with a 5.15 flat. Cheney Cedarleaf also a senior coming in with a 5.27. So 12 seconds behind her. But like I said early on, you, you never want to discount a Cedarleaf because yeah. there's a lot of really good uh, athleticism there. Yeah, and it does look like Cheney Cedarleaf is in the lead currently, followed by Margaret Hemmelgarn right behind her. So we'll see who has 
the push there at the end and when they decide to really kick it in to try to finish out this last 200 meters. Oh, this could be an interesting last 200 meters as we see what these ladies plan to do. Third place right now still is Fort Recovery's Natalie Brunswick. And fourth place, we have New Bremen. And then we have a Versailles runner in, I believe a Versailles runner in fifth place. As we come to the final 100, it does look like Cheney Cedarleaf is extending that lead now over her teammate by about 15 meters. And she is pushing there towards the end. And it does look like Cheney Cedarleaf will take the girls 1600 meter run followed by Margaret Hemmelgarn and then Natalie Brunswick in third place for Fort Recovery. Event number 10, the boys 1600 meter run. In lane one, Tony Mormon of Versailles. Lane two, Trey Gettelmiller of Marin Local. Lane, uh, well rather one, also lane one, Tyler Rowan of Parkway and Caleb Putnam, Putman of New Knoxville. In two, Trevor Heitkamp of Fort Recovery, Ryan Halpin of Minster, Dominic Schroyer of New Bremen, Tyler Overman of Coldwater, and Henry Homan of St. John's. In three, Jack Grishop of Minster, Zachary Rahm of Versailles, Ryan Stuckey of Marion Local, Ryan Mestmaker of St. Henry and Jude Holland of New Knoxville. And in four, Zach Wiedemann of New Bremen, Michael Rendler of St. Henry, Hank Kopak of Delphi St. John's, and Xavier Reisner of Parkway. As we look at the first 200 meters, it does look like Trevor Heitkamp of Fort Recovery is out in front, followed by Jack Grishop of Minster. Which is what we talked ahead of time that we kind of thought would be happening here. But as we do look, there's two Mr. Runners there. Versailles, Tony Mormon is currently in third. Trevor Heitkamp comes with a 426.52. Jack Grishop, who's right behind him, comes in with a 428.20. And currently they're still all bunched there, about the top 10 runners there, all within about 15 meters of each other, so we see Trevor Heitkamp really trying to set the pace, see if that continued pace thins out the crowd a little bit as they finish that first lap all within about five meters of each other, but now they've all kind of settled into a straight line. That's right, they are just really close there behind each other. You see a couple pairs of neon green shoes chasing down Trevor Heitkamp right now. It's always interesting for me to see how the neon shoes have become Big fashion yes. in track and field in the past few years. So we've got Fort Recovery in first, Minster in second, Versailles in third, New Bremen in fourth, Minster in fifth, and Marion Local currently in sixth, halfway around, uh, halfway through the race. And we come to expect this with the seed times, this, these top three, how they came into this race are running currently with their seed times as Trevor Heitkamp really, once he got to that halfway through the race, has now extended his lead a little bit over Jack Grishop and Tony Mormon. Yeah, he really has. He has picked up his pace. He's increased his stride. Um, almost like those first two laps, he just was settling in. He kind of had an idea of what to do. Then he knew what he was going to do for the second half. Yeah, and he hasn't slowed down much as he comes around for this last 100, and then we'll have one more lap to go. Trevor Heitkamp is a senior, our second place runner. Jack Grishup is also a senior. He is being challenged by a sophomore, Tony Mormon of Versailles. And there's the bell for a final lap. And Trevor Heitkamp isn't slowing down at all. <laughs> he is not. In fact, he's doing the exact opposite. He is picking it up. His mind is already getting ready for next week and the postseason and the things that will set him up, hopefully, for a trip to the University of Dayton. Yeah, he is really taking that straightaway strong. He's even increased his stride more as he gets close to the final 200. Going to be interesting to see what happens in second place. Minster is still leading, but Mormon from Versailles is not letting up on him. 
course, you can't see that in your camera because Trevor Heitkamp is so far ahead of everybody else, he is the only one we're seeing right now. As we look back, it looks like the second Minster runner, Ryan Halpin, has taken over fourth place over Zach Wiedemann of New Bremen. So could be some big points for Minster if they can get two runners in the top four. But as you said, it's going to be Trevor Heitkamp just finishing strong here. But it does look like Jack Grisha will come in second, followed then by Tony Mormon in third place. And in fourth place will be Ryan Halpin of Minster. New Bremen is fifth. Got some close calls here at the end. The boys' 1600 meter run. This is the MAC Track Championships taking place in Versailles. Our title sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Moving now to event 11, the girls four by 100 meter relay. In lane one, it's New Bremen. Lane two is Coldwater. Lane three, St. Henry. Lane four, Fort Recovery. Lane five, Delphi St. John's. Lane six, Minster. Lane seven, Versailles. And in lane eight, it's Marion Local. Josiah Fort Recovery coming in here with the top seed time, very close to the meet record. Yeah, as we look early as the Fort Recovery runner, and it does look like Fort Recovery is the first team to get the baton. Handoff's it, so important in this race. But it does look like St. John's on the outside of them may have the early lead here with his Fort Recovery third runner is gaining that distance back here as she hands off to the anchor. Very close here, but it does look like, yep, the Fort Recovery Runner. Oh, she just did a real quick look back because take a look at Delta St. John's trying really hard, isn't gonna get her. Fort Recovery is your champion. Moving on to event 12, it's the boys four by 100 meter relay. In lane one, Parkway. Lane two, Minster. Lane three, Versailles. Lane four, Marion Local. Lane five, St. Henry. Lane six, Coldwater. Lane seven, New Knoxville. And lane eight, New Bremen. As we look, Marion Local comes in with the fastest seed time with a 43.67, but it does look like St. Henry was the first team to get the baton off, but this second runner for Marion Local has gained the distance back. It's still pretty close though. That was a very close handoff. I agree with you. That was a great straightaway runner for Marion Local to get his team going. Third handoff now. And it is Marion Local out in front, followed by St. Henry, but there's gonna be a battle between second place, and it does look like Coldwater in the end will take second place, followed by St. Henry, but congratulations to Marion Local with the boys' four by 100 meter relay championship. Moving on to event 13, it's the girls' 400 meter dash. This is the MAC Track Championships. Our title sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. In the girls' 400 meter dash finals, we have the following. Evie Gast of St. Henry in lane one. Naomi Kanapke of Parkway in two. April Baker of New Bremen in three. 
Audrey Elig of Coldwater in four, Bryn Egbert of New Knoxville in five, Claire Bowman of Minster in six, Katie Litton of Versailles in seven, and Ava Stallman of Minster in lane eight. Four freshmen, Josiah, in this final. Yeah, no seniors in this final, so kind of rare. Absolutely, especially with the 400. You know, at this point, if you have a senior who loves the 400, you're going to see that person running it right now. I'm not sure if anybody loves the 400, no, to be I'm, truthful. It's a it's a brutal race. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm not sure anybody I, would for some reason, consciously say four, that. <laughs> I loved the 400 when I was in high school and college. That was, that was the race that I enjoyed. And the race here that we are watching appears to be in lane four. The freshman from Coldwater is leading the pack right now. Yeah, it does look like Audrey Ailing from Coldwater. Comes in with the best seed time, one minute, one second. So she looks like she is coming out fast, especially this last 100 meters. We'll see who has some push at the end, but it does look like it's gonna be a battle between second and third between Minster and New Knoxville. But it will be Audrey Ailing coming in first. Event number 14, the boys 400 meter dash. Again, these are the finals. They did have prelims this past Tuesday. Lane one, Liam Davis from Coldwater. Lane two, Will Kanapke of Minster. Lane three, Eli Dirksen of Versailles. Lane four, your reigning champion, Wesley Schoen of Marion Local. Lane five, last year's second place finisher, Trevor Stearns of Parkway. Lane six, Aiden Grishop of Marion Local. Lane seven, Jacob Kelly of New Bremen. And lane eight, Pierce Whitlash of New Bremen. And it does look like Wesley Schoen has gotten out early on that first corner. Comes in with the best seed time with a 51.89. Yeah, he's already making up the stagger of the runners next to him as he gets ready for that final 200. And I think he's now, you know, now he's picked up the speed even more. He was really striding out that first half, and now we're seeing him really kick it in here in this second part of this race. Yeah, it looks like his teammate, Aiden Grishop, is in second place. So it could be some huge points for Marion Local with a 1-2 finish here. And it will be Wesley Schoen coming in first. Aiden Grishup in second place, so a 1-2 finish for the Marion Local Flyers. And Terry and, ter I'm sorry, Trevor Stearns of Parkway finishing in third. Moving on to event 15, it's the girls' 300-meter hurdles. This will be heat two of two. Before we get there, though, Josiah, you've got some score updates for us on team scores. Yes, our current results now in third place for the girls is Coldwater with 60 points. In second place is Minster with 78.5 points. And currently in the lead is Versailles with 90 points in the girls' division. For the boys, in third place is Coldwater with 70.5. In second place is Minster with 81.5. And leading is Marion Local with a commanding lead of 116.5 points. 116.5 for Marion Local. All right, we are back to the girls' 300-meter hurdles, and here's who we have running right now. In lane one, it's Cami Langenkamp of Parkway. Two, Molly Brame of Minster. Lane three, Kiana Matsud Mat Mastuda. Kiana, I love your last name, and I'm sorry I didn't say it right. Fort Recovery, she finished second last year. In lane four, Grace Moeller, your third-place finisher last year. She's from Marion Local. In lane five, Carly Busher of St. Henry. In lane six, last year's champion, Mir Miriam Garrett of Versailles. Lane seven, Cadence Bergman of Minster. And eight is Josephine Pothast of Versailles. And currently, Grace Muller is in that lead. Struggled in the last hurdle. Take a couple extra steps, but it's going to be a battle of St. Henry. Carly Busher comes up at the end with the momentum. Oh, and she And gets she it. will win it. It looks like followed by Grace Muller. And then in third place, Miriam Garrett from Versailles. So... A great battle there and a great finish by the St. Henry runner. Event number 16, the boys 300 meter hurdles. Heat two of two. In lane one, Aiden Rose of Coldwater. Lane two, Landon Arling of Marion Local. He finished third place in this race last year. Lane three, Max Kanapke of Minster. Lane four, Andrew Pullman of Marion Local. Lane five, Jay Schroeder of New Knoxville. Lane six, Connor Gibson, your fourth place finisher last year. He's from Versailles. Lane seven, Gideon Beasley of Versailles. And lane eight, Thomas Hegg of Parkway. Only one senior here, Josiah. We got one freshman 
A couple sophomores, but a lot of juniors. Jay Schroeder right away, up and going over those hurdles. Looks like next to him, is that Vers yeah, It's hard to tell from our angle here, <laughs> but it does look like in lane six, Connor Gibson from Versailles is in a battle now with the New Knoxville runner, Jay Schroeder, and Marion local runner, Andrew Pullman. It could come down to this last hurdle. Oh. And right now, I'm not I sure who won it, that. I think it might have been Marion Local. It looks like it. Of course, we're going to have to see what the results are. You know, uh, the Versailles runner hit that hurdle at that last moment. It just might have been the momentum that he lost. Of course, we want to see the results to know for sure. That's the boys' 300 meter hurdles. You're watching the Midwest Athletic Conference Championships at the Versailles Track Stadium. Today's title sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. This is event 17, the girls' 800-meter run, and these are the runners. In lane one, Corinne Gabo of Versailles, Ellie Will of Fort Recovery, Allison Pape of New Bremen, and Josie Bruns of Marion Local. In two, Cheney Cedarleaf of Minster, Mia Hirschfeld of New Bremen, Breslin Rohr of St. John's, and Joelle Kalp of Fort Recovery, as well as Kelly May of Coldwater. In three, Riley Balmer of St. Henry, Annie Hemmelgarn of Minster, Elena Mesher of St. Henry, Olivia Bakke of Self of St. John's. And in four, Meredith Barga of Versailles, Paige Williamson of Parkway, Jordan Schaefer of Parkway, and Kendall Neekamp of Marion Local. Two laps around the track. And right now, it does seem like Cheney Cedarleaf, our winner of our 1600 meter run, is out in the lead early. Coming around that corner. Cheney comes in with a seed time of 218.43, just a little over three seconds off of the record set in, by Taylor Roth, a fellow teammate in the past. Yeah, and she's out there. She's really out there. And it looks like she is followed by Riley Balmer from St. Henry. And then it is Meredith, I'm sorry, then it looks like it is her teammate from Minster, Annie Hemmelgarn. Annie Hemmelgarn. In oh, third place. Just a different Hemmelgarn. Yes. <laughs> Hemmelgarn's a strong name in running for Minster for many, many years. As uh, the Cedarleaf name, good swimmers as well. And Cheney Cedarleaf, she is moving. I really like the way she's moving her hands. She's kind of got the scoop going, which is really good for the breathing. And she just looks really smooth right there on that back leg. Yeah, it looks like there might be a battle for third, fourth, and fifth place as they're bunched up as another runner comes into that group. Looks like there might be a new Bremen runner, might be Maya Hirschfield there in third place, followed then by Annie Hemmelgarn in fourth. But so far it is Cheney Cedarleaf, Cedarleaf with a commanding lead and just looks, as you said, smooth with her running. About to finish out the last 50 meters, and there's going to be a battle for second here. That's right. The new Bremen runner is trying to make a move. You're going to see that in just a moment once we see Cheney cross the finish line. But Riley Balmer is going to hold her off. St. Ring Henry gets second. Minster will finish in fourth. Of 18 brings us to the boys' 800-meter run, two laps around the track. The record is 152.02, set back in 2013 by the amazing runner Sam Prakel. Here's who we have running tonight from lane one from Versailles, Tony Moorman, Jet Jellison of New Bremen, Peter Jansen of St. Henry, Aaron Bakke of St. John's, and Dexter Blosser of New Knoxville. In two, Jack Grishop of Minster, who won this event last year at this meet, Carter Dirksen of Minster, Zach Heath of St. Henry, Nathaniel Stolley of Parkway, and Woodrow Tinkum of Parkway. In third, the third lane, Sam Bern Bernhold of New Bremen, Marcus Briscoe of Versailles, Isaac Hanawald of Coldwater, Parker Brunswick of Fort Recovery, and Jude Holland of New Knoxville. And in four, Josh Shane of Coldwater, Isaac Bruns of Marion Local, Ryan Stuckey of Marion Local, and Zach Bakke of Delphus St. John's. It's 
So our eyes are on Jack Grishup, who is in orange, as well as Sam Bernhold from New Bremen, who is in maroon. Those are your top two seed times coming in. And it does look like Jack Grishup there on the inside of that pack running. Looks like he's gained some distance on that staggered. And as he comes around this corner, he will be the lead runner. You're still seeing a little bit of that stagger because they stay in their lane areas until they get to those small orange cones that Jack Grishop is just about to cross and now he moves over into lane one. Second place right now is Sam Bernhold of New Bremen, but he's being chased down by several runners right behind him. Yeah, it does look like Tony Mormon from Versailles finished third in that 1600 meter run. But as expected, the top three seed times are one, two, three right now. These guys have less than a lap to go. Jack Grishup continues to increase his lead. But as soon as I said that, I think Sam Bernhold picked it up and is trying to chase him down. Yeah, it looks like New Bremen has two runners there in the top four. Looks like Jet Jellison. Maybe that fourth runner trying to get some big points for New Bremen if they can get two runners in that top four. But so far it has been Jack Grishup coming around that last corner with about a 10 meter lead, followed by Sam Bernhold. And then Tony Mormon is in third, but there's a battle for that third spot as Jet Jellison takes the lead from him and it will be New Bremen finishing 2-3. Wow, so Minster in first, second place New Bremen, third place also New Bremen. Event number 19 is the girls 200 meter dash. You're watching the Midwest Athletic Conference champion meet at the Versailles Track Stadium. Our title sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. This is heat three of three, and in lane one, it's Sam Lauber of St. Henry. Lane two, Mara Pearson of Fort Recovery. Lane three, Becca Wenning of Coldwater. Lane four, your reigning champion, Izzy Zahn of Coldwater. Lane five, Anna Ressner of Fort Recovery. Lane six, Alice Kesson, who finished second last year from Delphi St. John's. Lane seven, Miriam Garrett of Versailles. And in lane eight, Kirsten Jackson of Delphi St. John's. Temperatures are cooling a bit here, Josiah. We had some periods of uh, sun making it feel pretty hot, but but overcast now and definitely feeling those temperatures drop. Izzy Zahn moving fast, Alex Kesson, and Anna Ressner. But look at Izzy Zahn go. Yeah, Izzy Zahn out fast, followed by Anna Ressner and then Alex Kesson. So great run there by Izzy Zahn. Just so smooth when she runs Absolutely. and a, another victory for her. Moving ahead to event number 20. It's the boys 200 meter dash. This is heat three of three. And Josiah, like we were actually talking before we came back here on the broadcast. They did do prelims on Tuesday, but there was uh, a pretty intense storm that came through. So we have a few timed finals here that are actually more than one heat. And this is one of those, and we are now in heat three. Here's who we have. Clay Shane of Coldwater in one, Tyler Barga of Versailles in lane two, Nico Zahn of Coldwater in three, Trevor Stearns of Parkway in lane four, Victor Holscher of Marion Local in five, Justin Knopf of Marion Local in six, John Keller of Minster in seven, and Joel Lozer of New Bremen in lane eight. Now, I just noticed that <laughs> the top seed times in the previous heat were 24 flat. There is a 24 flat in this heat. So this, since, since they did not do prelims, there is a chance that we could have some people from heat two or even heat one, in fact, sneak their way into the scoring here for this race. does look like our top seed time, Trevor Stearns is not in the field here. You're so right. it does look like two Marion local runners, Victor Holscher in lane five, 
Looks like he will take the victory. His teammate Justin Knopf will come in second place. So a one-two finish there for Marion Local. You know, we saw Trevor Stearns um, in his last race finish in third place. Um, little off from where we probably would have expected him to finish. So hopefully everything goes okay with him and he'll be all ready to go for next week. Moving ahead to event number 21, it's the girls 3200 meter run. Today's title sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. In lane one, it's Taylor Muhlenkamp of Parkway, Ava Rissmiller of Versailles, and Catherine Post of St. Henry. In lane two, it's Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery, Katie Donaldson of Delta St. John's, and Christina Tong of Parkway, as well as Riley Suchland of New Bremen. In lane three, Margaret Hemmelgarn of Minster, Maria Niekamp of Minster, Maya Kanapke of St. Henry, and Evelyn Bills of Marion Local. And in lane four, Araya Fenning of New Knoxville, Gabrielle Spitzer of Versailles, and Shaylee Boyle of New Bremen. Looks like Taylor Muhlenkamp is our current leader right now. A couple Minster girls behind her, which of course would be Margaret Hemmelgarn and Maria Niekamp. Eight laps around the track. It does look like those two Minster runners are hanging right on the shoulder of Taylor Molenkamp. As we've seen many times so far is, you know, that first lap kind of staying in the pack and then they start thinning themselves out. And right now we got four and then three very close behind them after the first lap. Of course, this is the kind of race where the runners have a plan when they make their way into this into this uh, race. Tyler Muhlenkamp finished fourth in this last year. Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery comes in with a top seed time of an 11.56.48. She's currently in that fourth place spot. She finished this race first last year. Maria Niekamp of Minster finished second. Margaret Helmgarn did not run this last year, and that's your top four that you have right now. Parkway. Fort Recovery, Minster, and Minster. We've got some results to read from earlier in the uh, meet, starting with Tuesday. What do you have, Josiah? Yeah, for the girls' 4 by 800 meter relay, finishing in fourth place was the team of New Bremen. In third place was St. Henry. In second place was Versailles. And the team from Minster finishes on top with a time of 9 minutes and 48 seconds. 9.48, that, that is a fast four by eight time. Yeah, that is moving. Great race Minster by them. Minster girls will do, should do nicely down at state with a time like that. As we look at the boys. Of course, assuming. We haven't yeah, gotten assuming, there yet, yep. just making an assumption. <laughs> the girls, boys four by 800 meter relay in fourth place was Coldwater. In third place for sales. In second place, New Bremen. And in first place, once again, team from Minster with a time of 8 minutes, 12 seconds to win the boys' 4 by 800 meter relay. All right, before you read on, I just want to mention what we just saw happen. That I, I was just thinking that Natalie Brunswick was boxed in. She was stuck behind the two Minster runners. She almost tripped, but she got her way around them, and she's now moved her way into the first place spot. Little less than six laps to go for these ladies. As we look at a few more field events, the girls' high jump in fourth place was Ellie Fullenkamp from St. Henry. In third place was Adriana Kremer from Minster. In second place was Kayla Lam from Minster. And winning the girls' high jump from Marion Local was Ava Ranley with a jump of five feet, four inches. Ooh, five feet, four inches. That's pretty good. As we look at the girls' long jump in fourth place, was Ellie Stammen from Versailles. Alex Kesson finished third. Mara Pearson from Fort Recovery finished second. And Izzy Zahn won the girls' long jump from Coldwater with a jump of 18 feet, two and a quarter inches. Mm, Izzy Zahn racking up some victories in this championship meet. All right, here we go. We see our leaders coming around here. Minster ladies. Oh, and there goes Parkway. That's Taylor Muhlenkamp. She has taken the lead. 
But Natalie Brunswick says, I don't think so. She has taken the lead. And Minster's Margaret Hemmelgarn is right up there as well. Natalie Brunswick from Fort Recovery is still your leader. Margaret Hemmelgarn right tucked right behind her. Parkway's Taylor Muhlenkamp is there. And now we have a move taking place by Maria Niekamp. She has moved into third place. Little less than five laps to go in this race. All right, as we're watching this, uh, Josiah is writing down some, some, some results. As soon as we have those, we'll bring those to you. This gonna, we're gonna tell you where the boys and girls are in this point of the race, or part of the meet, rather. Remember, we only have the boys 3,200 meter run after this race, and then the four by four. Yeah, look at a few more results as we're trying to listen as best we can <laughs> to get the results here. But uh, for the boys long jump, in fourth place was Drew Boggs from St. John's. In third place was John Keller from Minster. In second place, Marion Local was Landon Arling. And winning the boys long jump was Ryan Worley from St. Henry with a jump of 20 feet, 10 inches. All right, Josiah, why don't you listen to those results from the boys' 200-meter dash as we watch these ladies. Fort Recovery's Natalie Brunswick, the senior, still in the lead, but Minster's right there behind second and third place. Taylor Muhlenkamp has dropped back just a bit, but she is in fourth place. Four laps to go. Beautiful night. Temperatures have dropped just a tad bit. Actually, really nice weather for distance running. So these girls are over halfway through their race. And now it looks like we might see a move happen. Maybe a move happen. I'm looking to see what's gonna happen here on this back straightaway. And maybe not yet. You can just see Minster inching, thinking about it, but gonna continue to just say tuck prayer right behind Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery. Josiah is listening for those results. We'll tell you who's where once he hears that. All right, Josiah, what do you have? Yeah, just looking at some current results here uh, for the girls in third place is Coldwater. In second place is Minster. And winning currently for the in the girls' division is Versailles with a score of 108 points so far in this meet. On the boys' side, in third place is Coldwater with 80.5 points. Minster is in second with 98.5. And Marion Local continues to extend that lead with 146.5 points. We've really seen some solid sprinting coming from Marion Local. Solid running in, in all general, but really some solid sprinting from Marion Local in this meet. As we look at a few more results from field events, the girls shot put in fourth place was Georgia Fleck from Marion Local. Katrina Will, her teammate from Marion Local, finishes third. Molly Fellin from Versailles comes in second. And Tori Yo from Versailles, teammates of one, two for Versailles, wins the girl's shot put with a distance of 36 feet, two and a quarter inches. All right, so about two and a half laps left here for our runners. And we can't tell you who's gonna win right now because it is still very close in that one, two spot. Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery remaining in the lead, but I will never count out Margaret Hemmelgarn and her running ability. She is right there behind her. And with two laps to go left, I, I'm just wondering what's going on in Margaret Hemmelgarn's mind. Of course, the same thing with Natalie Brunswick, who wants to repeat as the winner. But Margaret is, is matching her, um, and neither one of these ladies look like they are slowing down. No, as they continue to kind of just pace themselves, if you want to call it, as they're <laughs> lapping some runners, but just doing a great job now, two laps, and you know, kind of comes down to strategy. When do you start extending those strides, pushing yourselves a little bit? You know, right now it just seems like they're okay running together, but we'll see who at the end, you know, the last 150, where do you start making that push? And right now they just continue to, just continue to run a great race. That's right, so, you know, 
Um, Natalie Brunswick is there. She, she knows she's ahead. She obviously knows Margaret's right there behind her. But she, if she's got that push, we might see her start to pick that up in just a little bit. Or are we seeing Margaret Hemmelgard hold back from what she's going to get ready to do in that last lap? It's going to be an interesting last lap, I think, to see who's got that extra edge at the end. Yeah, absolutely. And let's look at a few more results here before we see this exciting finish. And the boys shot put in fourth place, Will Berry from Coldwater. In third, third place, Will Frimmel from Minster. Charlie Schmeezing from Minster finishes second. And the winner, Jack Kanapke from Marion Local with a throw of 52 feet, two inches. And we do have the boys discus throw here also in fourth place. Ethan Ebbing from Coldwater. Charlie Schmeezing from Minster finishes third. Jack Knapke from Marion Local finishes second. And Leland Bolin from Versailles with a throw of 172 feet, five inches. All right, the ladies have stepped up that speed. We saw that happen here just on this straightaway. One lap to go. These ladies are both going to have to actually pass a few other runners on the curve. Not something that they really want to do. Take a look at what Margaret Hamilgarden is doing, though. Off she goes. She really was doing what we said. Yeah. She was just tucking behind. She was just sitting back, and she was getting ready to show us what Hamilgardens are well known for doing. Such a solid runner. Absolutely, and she really used those those lapped runners to really push around them, get ahead of Natalie Brunswick. And right now she's just extended that lead. Now it's about 20 meters ahead of Brunswick. And we'll see if Natalie Brunswick has a little bit of a kick here at the end, but we're at the last 200 meters. Natalie Brunswick has increased her stride. She is picking things up, but so is Margaret Hemmelgarn. She makes her way around this curve. Oh, those Marion local kids that were coming across almost, uh, I mean, they made it across, but they got it close because <laughs> Margaret's running pretty fast right now. Yeah, it looks like Margaret is sprinting this last 100. Look at that stride as she will win the girls' 3,200-meter run with a great race. Coming behind her is Natalie Brunswick from Fort Recovery, but it looks like there's a race now for third and fourth as the Parkway runner Taylor Mullenkamp is able to pass the other Minster runner, Mariah Niekamp, and she will finish in third place, Minster in fourth. I loved the focus on Taylor Mullenkamp's face as she just finished that out. Third place for Parkway, and then fourth place for the second Minster runner. Our final individual event is event 22, the boys 3,200 meter run. In lane one, Zach Wiedemann, New Bremen. Lane two, Cameron Magato, Versailles. I'm sorry, rather, that is also lane one. Also in lane one, Reese Diller of Fort Recovery and Andy Walpole of Delta St. John's. In two, Trevor Heitkamp of Fort Recovery, your reigning champion from last year. Jack Spitzer of Versailles, Dalton Pullman of Marion Local, and Noah Obringer of Coldwater. In three, Mason Ayers of Coldwater, Nick Pringer of Minster, Trey Gettelmeller of Air Marion Local, and Riley Winslick of Delphi St. John's. And in four, Ryan Halpin of Minster, Dominic Schroyer of New Bremen, and Tyler Rowan of Parkway. Well, unlike the girls, we have a separation right here from the beginning. Yeah, and that's from Trevor Heitkamp wanting to get out early. You saw at the start, you know, he really pushed it around that first corner, wanted to make sure he didn't have any crowd in front of him. And just like we've come to expect him out front leading this group, followed by Marion Local, Versailles, and then a group of runners there all in fourth through 10th place. That's right, fourth through 10th place is quite the battle that we have going on, but the leader is Trevor Heitkamp. 9.43.56 is his seed time coming in. A good 15 seconds or more ahead of anyone else in this field. Such a talent to be able to run at a pace like this for eight straight laps. Yeah, and we see him continue now to extend that lead to about 20 meters. You know, the rest of the group there is, you know, second through 10 are all going to be battling for that spot. But Trevor Heitkamp just continues with that strong pace as he started from the beginning of this race and will continue to extend that lead as he looks to be once again the champion of the boys 3,200 meter run. Not even two laps in yet. Trevor with that big lead. 
And who do we have in second? Well, like like Josiah said, it is a bunched up group. Marion Local was in second, but suddenly there's been a change. We've got New Bremen, Coldwater, Minster, another Minster runner, and a New Bremen runner on the outside is trying to make his way as well. Trevor Heitkamp is your current leader. Several more laps to go. We're gonna take a quick break and we'll be back to finish this race. Well, we are back, two laps to go, and our lead has not changed. In fact, it's just increased. Josiah Trevor Heitkamp making no question about his plans with this race. Yeah, it almost has a 100-meter lead on the rest of the competition, but really the battle is for second place as we've got a bunch of runners, about seven runners all in a bunch trying to vie for that second place. Trevor Heitkamp running his race as we come to expect, but it's gonna be this second through eighth position here that we're gonna see probably some excitement tonight, but you know, they're all looking far in front of them to see Trevor Heitkamp as he gains distance here with about 600 meters to go. Yeah, there you see him around that curve. And now we're gonna make our way back to this group that Josiah was just talking about. We got a group of runners here and I think they've really started to pick up the pace because when they hit that two lap to go mark, they were still pretty close to each other. And now we're seeing a little bit more separation that's happening. Um, you can see there, what you're seeing right there is a fight for second place. That Minster runner is currently in third, but is really just right on the heels of that new Bremen runner. Oh, I'm sorry, Coldwater runner, that's Coldwater and New Bremen, and then Minster is in third, but Versailles runner is in fourth and is trying hard. Can we go back over to our leader right now? There's Trevor, not slowing down, over there on the back stretch, making his way and about to, to pass another runner there as he just has about 200 yards left to go. Yeah, and just to update you on the battle, it continues to be between the Coldwater and New, the New Bremen? New Bremen runner for second and third. They've gained a little bit of ground, you know, and pushed their lead on those other two Minster runners there. You know, it was a bunch, but now they're kind of thinning themselves out. But here we go. We have Trevor Heitkamp, the last 80 meters of this race. And what a dominating race it's been for him. Yeah, just looks so solid. Head's not even moving anywhere. Just looking forward, powerful. Looks like he could run maybe a few more laps at that pace. All right, let's move back over to where it is and see what's happening. Our cold water runner has commandingly moved into second place as he is now sprinting his way into the finish. New Bremen is currently in third, but watch what's happening here, guys. Just watch that finish line. New Bremen third. Minster fourth, Minster fifth, New Bremen sixth, and Versailles seventh. All right, folks, we've made it to the final women's event. It's event 23, the girls four by 400 meter relay. Our title sponsor for this Mac Track Championship broadcast is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Fort Recovery will be in lane two, Versailles in lane three, St. Henry in four, Coldwater in lane five, Minster is in six, and New Knoxville will be in lane seven. Four ladies, four laps around the track. As we look at some of these seed times coming in, a lot of teams with a, these close times, so it mm -hmm. should be a battle at the end. Three teams coming in with that four minutes, nine second seed time all around that, um, you know, that mark. So we'll see as it comes down to that final anchor, you know, is there a leg that really separates or allows their team, you know, to have a little bit of distance on their opponents? But I'm excited for this race. Mm -hmm. I agree always a fun race to watch and so often it's the deciding factor in a lot of meets. 
All right, these first ladies will stay in their lanes for this entire first lap as they make their way around. Remember, they are staggered. Got the runner in lane two from Fort Recovery, though, already making up that first stagger. Also, check out lane four, St. Henry. She also appears to have slightly made up some of her stagger. Got the lights going now. Thought maybe we'd get this race finished before the sun went down, but the lights are out. So the girls get to run under the lights. And we see, I believe, Audrey Alig from Coldwater, the winner of the girls' 400 meter dash, is out in front for this Coldwater team. So it looks like they will be the first one to get the handoff as they do, followed by St. Henry. And then over there in lane six and seven, Minster and New, or five and six, rather. Coldwater and Minster, Coldwater first, sorry folks. Coldwater is in first, St. Henry is currently in second. One of the things I just love about the four by four is how it can change with each runner. Absolutely. It can just completely change with each leg of the race. Now, Coldwater isn't making a change, though. No. <laughs> the only change they're making is to get the lead a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, you know, and that's kind of part of where some of that strategy comes in, too, as a coach is, you know, you got to put your runners in the right spot. Which leg do you see is the most important, you know, and some run faster times. But as we see here is the Minster runner, Trying to come up on the St. Henry runner. We got Coldwater in one. And we got a same handoff of struggle oh, there by Minster. That's right. Almost would have been a tie, but that handoff was a little bit of a, a jiggled handoff there. Coldwater runner's got her knees up high. She's got that sprinter uh, style going strong. That Minster runner in third place, you can see she's just tucking right in there behind that St. Henry runner. Yeah, not much of a change here in the last 100 meters is about the same distance all the way around. So as we look now, is Coldwater Runner looking, looking like she's extending that lead a little bit, coming down to the last 100 with about a 25 meter lead. I really love just the intensity of her arms. She's just using the, the power in her upper body so much to propel her as she moves her way along, passing off in a solid first place. St. Henry's still in second. Minster really close behind in third. And all six teams have success, successfully passed the baton. And once again, Coldwater still with about that 25 to 30 meter lead. But and, it looks and, like there's a change there in third and fourth almost. It's going to be a battle. So we've got Coldwater with a strong first place. St. Henry still in second. Minster, though, look what just happened. I think uh, I love it when I see these runners who'd love to do a reverse uh, split in the 400 because what we just saw with Minster is she got to that 200 mark and it looked like she was almost going to fall into fourth and she just took off. And now Coldwater's still in first. St. Henry's in second, but man, that Minster runner, she's yeah. chasing her down. And watch what's happening now, folks. Minster moves into second place. St. Henry, Henry will finish in third. And now we are to event 24. It's the boys four by 400 meter relay. This is the final race in our Midwest Athletic Conference Championship. It's heat two of two in lane three, New Bremen, lane four, Marion Local, lane five, Minster, and lane six, Versailles. And as we look at the meet record, three minutes, 22 seconds, Marion Local with the best seed time, three minutes, 23 seconds. So have an opportunity as we've seen multiple meet records go down tonight. Another opportunity here in the final race of the night. We really have seen a lot of meet records go down tonight. A lot of sprint records that we uh, went down. Josiah is looking through his results here to see that. 
Marion Local already looking very strong in this race. Yeah, the girls' 100-meter dash, Alex Kesson from St. Delphi St. John's with a meet record in the 100-meter dash, 12.19. So meet record there. So we look at another meet record, Marion Local, um, 4 by 200 meter relay. We're in a time of 1 minute 29 seconds for a meet record. Another meet record, girls 4 by 1, set by Fort Recovery tonight, a 49.66. And the boys' 4 by one meter relay record also fell tonight from Marion Local. So Marion Local set a couple meet records tonight, 43.54. So we'll see if they're going to set another one. Interestingly, the current record set back in 2013, Subler, Prakel, Pothast, and Winner. So that's Sam Prakel, standout runner, was part of that. Well, Marion Local is standing out in this race. This runner races around the track. Marion Local in first, Minster in second, and Versailles in third. And yeah, just to mention another meet record tonight, the girls' 200-meter dash was won by Izzy Zahn from Coldwater with a time of 24.53 to set a new meet record also. Of course, this is an exciting weekend. So many conference championships are taking place. But then next weekend, we start the postseason, the race to state. This year's state will take place at the University of Dayton at Welcome Stadium. So it'll be just a little different than in the past. The track at Jesse Owens Stadium in Ohio State is being resurfaced. So it was needed to move to a different location. Wow, take a look at Marion Local. Move around that track, leaving no question about their plans for this race. Yeah, about a 40 meter lead there as they're coming around this corner. That happens. Jacob, can you pan over to the other crew so we can see what's going on right there in the second place? Minster is in second. Versailles is in third. And New Bremen is currently in fourth. Marion Local with a quick handoff, and they're already about around the curve before Minster and Versailles and New Bremen get the handoff and just continue to extend that lead. And we see why their seed time is the best coming into tonight, and they're just running a great race. All right, what you aren't seeing right now, since you are at our leader, is our, our second place challenge that's going on over here between Minster and Versailles. There you go, take a look at that around that curve. I think that is Versailles, is that right? I know we got Minster. Yep, Minster yep. and Versailles racing in there for second place. All right, let's zoom back out here and let's go to our winner. There we go, thanks Jacob. First place, Marion Local. Whew, I'd love to see the time right there and see exactly where they finished. And now you're gonna see Minster coming in second, Versailles coming in third, New Bremen is going to finish in fourth. Well, Josiah, that wraps it up for us. It's been a nice night. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of meet records going down tonight. Beautiful night for a race and thought it was going to be a warm and then got a little chilly, but I'm sure these runners enjoyed it and a great showing by all these athletes tonight. And no rain. We had rain last weekend, so I am pleased to sit in a meet without the rain. Well, for Josiah Stober, Jacob O'Neill, and our entire WSN crew, I'm Jennifer Beck. Thanks for watching the Midwest Athletic Conference Championships from the Versailles Track Stadium right here on WOSN.